Okay, um, hello everyone. Okay, so the next program is a mouse per gallon program. So a cast mouse per gallon MPG can be calculated with the form following formula. MPG is equal to mouse driven over divided by gallons, uh, divided by gallons of gas used. So write a program that asks the user for the number of mouse driven and the gallons of gas used. It should calculate the cars mouse per gallon and display the results on the screen. Okay, so we are going to be accepting input. So let me first start with the class. I just save this as MPG. And then the main method type in the path. We're going to declare some variables. Okay. So um, I'm going to be using actually both the scanner class and the, the JOption pane to show how both of them um, are done to, di to display output. All right, so I'll first start with scanner. Since we're going to be using scanner, I'm going to, well, we're going to be using both, but I'll start with scanner. So since we're going to be using scanner, I'm going to import, I'm going to tell the program where the scanner class is, is found, is, is located. All right, so I'm going to import Java dot util dot scanner and we need to first of all we need to first of all create um, a scanner object so scanner I'm going to call it scanner it's going to be new sc scanner and we're going to use a system dot in to, to receive input and that's going to receive just byte information and we are going to connect it to the scanner object using the equal sign and we're going to use the methods in the scanner object to convert them to whatever whether it's an integer or a double or um, a string or, or whatever so now now that we have the semicolon now that we have the um, scanner object now we can go ahead and ask the user for the variable so the program wants us to find mouse per gallon mouse divided by gallon so first we need to ask the user to to input the mouse the mouse so we're going to prompt system that out to print let me first okay we're going to ask, ask the user to um, to put in the mouse so system that out dot print ln and we're going to type in please enter the miles you can change this to however you want and we are going to um, pop out a text box to ask the user to put in the mouse so that's going to be we're going to use a scanner object and say scanner say scanner dot next um, double because it because it, it can be a, it can be a decimal and when we receive that, we, we have to, oh, sorry, when, when the user types in the information, we have to store that in the variable. So we need to create a variable here. And that's going to be a double to accept the, or to store the mouse. I'm just going to name it user mouse. And once we receive input here, we're going to store that in user mouse. And we're going to do the same thing for one second. So mouse driven and gallons of gas used. So we're going to do the same thing for please enter the gallons of gas used. And we need to also store that in the variable. We need to store that in its own variable. So we're going to declare that um, variable. So it's going to be user gallons. And once we accept the input and convert whatever was typed in system.in to a double, we are going to store that in 
um, user gallons. And then now, now that we have both information, we can just go ahead and divide. We go, we, to get the mouse per gallon, we divide, we divide user, um, user mouse by user gallons. And once we do that, we need to store the result, which is going to be mouse per gallon in its own variable. So double MPG or double mouse per gallon. So once we do this calculation, we need to store it in mouse per gallon. And since we have the mouse per gallon saved there, now we have it. All we have to do is just display it. So I'm going to again use a scanner to display it. So system.out.println. Um, you can say, you know, you know, mouse per gallon. Um, sorry, mouse per gallon. S. And then we're going to concatenate that with mouse per gallon. So we're done. Um, I'm going to go ahead and compile this. And I'll save it as mouse per gallon. Um, sorry, I'm saving it in the wrong folder. OK. And I'll save it here, MPG. Okay, so it compiled well. Um, I'm going to run it. Please enter the mouse. I'll put in 40. Please enter the gallons, 67. Mouse per gallon is this. Um, it's a decimal. It's because it, 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 this is a double. It's not rounded. That's why it gives us this value. But you can use methods to, to round it. But ch chapter two doesn't talk too much about those methods, so that's why we're going to leave it like this. And once we go to chapter three and chapter four, as those methods are introduced, we are going to use them. So we're just using the tools, you know, the, the tools that are um, taught in chapter two to solve these. And as we go forward, whatever is, is taught in those chapters, we will use them uh, as and when they're introduced. Okay, so this is fine. This is fine. This works. Um, but I want to also use the J option pane to display in, um, to display output just to show that how that that, that is also done. So I'm going to go ahead and com um, comment the just kind of import out. I'm going to comment out the this kind of object creation. Actually, I don't have to, but I'll comment comment it out just to show that we are not using it. And I'll comment out. As a matter of fact, I'll comment out all of this. Okay, let's see. All of all of that. And then we'll start all of them. Okay, so that goes down. So we still have the variables. We still have the variables. So for the J option pane to receive inputs, first we're going to use J option pane dot show input dialog just to to pop out the input box. And it's going to be a message. And the message is going to be, let me just type it. Please enter the mouse. And we're going to store it in a variable called string string um, user string output the reason being the J option pane always returns a string so we're going to store it user store it in user string output as a matter of fact is equal to that And then, since we have the input, if even if the user types in a, a number, it's going to be a string. So we need to convert that into a double. So to do that, you use double dot 
pass in so pass double and what we are what we are converting is user string output so now we have that so we can do the same thing for um for, for gallons so it's going to be please enter the gallons of gas used and also we're going to go ahead and convert that into a I'm sorry once we convert this into a double once we convert the mouse into a double we need to store it now in user mouse we didn't do that so we just store that in user mouse and once we convert this into a double convert the gallons into a double we need to also store that in user gallons yeah and then to show it we use j option pane dot show message output oops and it takes two arguments now now to center it um, on the screen and this is going to be the message so mouse per gallon is okay so we haven't we haven't calculated the mouse per gallon so we have the mouse here we have the gallons here mouse per gallon now is going to be you know it's right here mouse per gallon is going to be user mouse divided by user gallons okay so this is just printing it out mouse per gallon is mouse per gallon okay so let's let's try that out and see if that works okay so compile it and we have a problem all right so let's see cannot find symbol variable J option pane let's see okay so in, in in order to use the J option pane you also have to tell the program where J option pane is found the class is found because it doesn't have access to all these methods all these methods are in its class and we need to tell the program where it is and to do that you, you just like just the, just the way just like the way we imported the scanner class we also have to import the the, the J option pane class and to do that you 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 do import Java X dot swing dot J option pane. So hopefully that fixes. It. Let's see. And we still have another problem. Okay, so Java X dot swing dot J option pane. Let's see. Import Java X dot swing dot J option pane. All right. Cannot find symbol. Method show message output. Okay. So the method is not called show message output. It's called show message dialog so show input dialog and show message dialog so let's compile that and and you know it compiled well okay so I'll run it and it's loading up the before I before I forget when I cancel this anytime you hit the cancel button it's, it returns now so that's going to just give us some stuff here but ignore that it's because it returns now you can use a program to receive that and y you know use it use that that data to do whatever you want but um, anytime you use a J option pane you have to terminate it with system that exit because it starts a, tra um, a, a thread that has to be um, terminated so I'm going to send in zero and zero is just an indication that it um, it runs successfully so that's what's going to be returned okay so I'm going to go ahead and compile this and run it so I'm going to put in six I'm going to put in eight for gas and miles per gallon is 3.75 okay so this works and again it was a bit rough but I hope you you, you got you got the idea and if you have any questions please comment down below and i'll see you in the next program thanks thank you very much for watching take care bye bye